Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video it is going to be another Minecraft tutorial. And we are going to be learning how to build today the BAE Jetstream 41. Now this plane is just a lengthened version of the BAE Jetstream 31, which is actually over here. Uh, and and it's, it, yeah, it's just a lengthened version, but what I was thinking of doing it in the same video as that, but it would have been a bit, uh, would have been a bit, um, cheaper to do in the same video, because they are, it is quite a different lengthening, if you have a look here, you can see the difference in length, uh, like where the wings line up and things, I thought, no, that's going to be different. Also, I've altered the wings a bit, uh, because they looked about the same like that, and it just looked a bit weird with the longer fuselage. So that is actually what I have done with these wings here. So I've got a little bit of information about it here. Uh, got B8, it's the BAE Jetstream 41. Nearly said 31 there. That was 100 of them built, and it entered service in 1992. One of the uh, one of the latest uh, British aircraft to enter service. So it's uh, it's the same cabin as the BAE Jetstream 31, just longer. Um, uh, the BAE Jetstream 31 had eight seats. And this one has how many does this have? This has twelve by the looks of it. Uh, yeah, six on one side and double that as well. So you've got uh, twelve seats in this. Uh, cockpit is pretty much the same. Um, uh, yeah, uh, that's the same as well. The toilet's the same as well. So yeah, so it's it's basically just the same thing, just longer. So hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Done the same thing with jotting it down. Uh, I am in kind of a low light. <laughs> I'm in a uh, kind of a low light because it's actually coming dark now, but I can just about see it. Uh, so I'm actually, I'm just. Uh, if you just give me two seconds, I will actually just turn on my light. Uh, yep, there we are. You may not have noticed that, uh, but I certainly did because I'm the one who turned it on. So, so yeah. Uh, what I'm at, for, my, for my tutorials now, I am actually going to start. Build, I'm going to build behind them. Um, the and the reason for that is if you have a look uh, on this tutorial world, uh, if I try to build this plane, for example, uh, where am I going to put it? I mean, I could try and put it there, but it's probably just going to be uh, squished, isn't it? Probably going to uh, touch. The uh, wingspan's probably just going to touch, and I wouldn't want that. So I've decided to do it from behind now. Uh, if I can, I will do it at the side. So um, uh, when I do. When I do the A350, which I did tell you, uh, when I did do the A350 in the Trident, which is what this plane is, um, uh, once I do them, I, uh, when I do them, I will just put them at the side. So if I just come back to the plane here, and we'll get started. What we're going to do um, is get, they're both going to be facing the same direction. They're not going to be like backwards on each other or whatever. So I'm just trying to find a spot that uh, I want to try and get it in line uh, with each other. I don't know if it matters. I'm kind of just OCD about that, so just go here. If I go forward, just a little bit, and there I think, and maybe we can go a little bit closer. Uh, there we are, I'll be fine. So, so yeah, I just also I just want to check the map, just check that we're not near the edge of the world. No, I'll be fine. Thank you, room. So. So yeah, we're actually going to do the tutorial now, and I ju I'm just going to show you some of the things that you'll need for it. So, what you're going to need, I've just got it on the inventory here, you'll need white wool, uh, quartz stairs, uh, quartz slabs, a piece of black wool, uh, <laughs> black wool, uh, nether brick fence, a uh, dark oak fence gate, a uh, block of iron, an iron door, and I've just got a swiftness potion just to help things along a bit quicker. You can if you want, if you want to build it quickly. Um, it's kind of like, for me, it's like alcohol in Minecraft. <laughs> it's a bit weird. So, uh, anyway, let's actually get on to the, the tutorial. So, what you're going to do, you're going to place a piece of black wool down like this. And then I actually forgot about that. You probably want to get buttons first. Uh, so, and grab some buttons and put them on the side of it like this. You're then going to put a nether brick fence on top of it like that. And then you're going to have to place some block underneath uh, just to put the fence gate on top of it. Uh, this is kind of my new design because if you have a look on the Jetstream 31, I did that for that. But I don't want to go back and change that. But uh, I just put on here fence gate just looks it more, uh, it just makes it look more realistic. 
little bit sticking out the bottom. Um, how can I put it? Because you've got because uh, if you've got this like sticking out of the bottom, it doesn't really look realistic, if you know what I mean. But I don't know. If it looks realistic to you, then just put down there the brick fence instead of fence gate. But anyway, uh, then well then uh, this is where I also look at my bit of paper now for my tutorial. Uh, you're going to count back nine. So either just count in the uh, on if you're doing it on the ground, just like count like one, two, three, four, and like that. But if you're in the air or you're just um, just placing it on the ground, uh, you can't you can do it with uh, you can't place something if you're placing it on the ground. It doesn't matter. But you're going to count nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, like that. Then you're going to put two uh, each side and. Um, and then you're going to put a, a piece of black wall there, then you can put a fence gate there, put your black wall, black wall there, same on the other side. And then you're going to put buttons on the side of that. Uh, no, not there. Not there. Uh, there. And there. And now you can just break away the slabs or whatever uh, material you used to ca just count back, or if you didn't count back then, that is uh, fine. <laughs> when when we're doing this, this can kind of give you a chance to look at uh, um, how the plane looks like from the back, I guess. <laughs> looks alright. But I never really had the chance to do it. So, uh, then for the last bit of your wheels, you're gonna uh, you're just going to come over by one, over the top of them. Uh, you, can either cr you can either just do that and place it over the top, or um, you can just crouch and place it on there. Whatever. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, as long as it actually gets on there. So that is it for the wheels layer. Uh, what I actually do with my layers, as I've said with uh, most of my tutorials, uh, I actually uh, do wheels as one layer, and then like the fuselage is another, uh, and then the wings is one layer, and the rudder and the tailplane is a different one as well, and the engine is a kind of a separate one as well. So yeah, that is uh, so that is it for the wheels layer. We will get onto the fuselage. So what you're actually going to do, you're going to grab some white wool, and if you place, uh, if you come out by one. Uh, over the top of this wheel, uh, you come diagonally off of it, and then you're going to place six uh, on the front of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. This will eventually come out to be your nose, uh, as it is on the jet string 31. Uh, we've just done this bit uh, here, the uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that will end up being. But we first place that block and then just have the six on the end. So. So then what you're going to do, you're going to come on top of the wheel, and then you're going to come out. Uh, then you're going to have uh, four. Um, no, you're going to have six. Sorry, I'm just trying to look. Um, you're going to have, yeah, you're going to have six. Probably the other paper then. Uh, actually, you need more swiftness. More tiny swiftness. So, uh, so one two, three, four, five, six. You're then, what we're going to do now, we're just going to kind of do like the under part of the wings, um, like the under wings. So, uh, if you just come out uh, by one here, then just place two to make that three long. Then you're going to place three on the back of this to make this four. One, two, three. Should just line up with these wheels. And then just come back here and just fill that up. Like that. Might as well just fill that up as well, because this is just going to be the bottom. Uh, I'll do it on the other side in a minute. You're then going to place four on the back of this. One, two, three, four. You're then... and then you're going to just have two on the back. Like so. So, you do on the same on the other side. You've got two there. One, two, three, four. Uh, might as well just pull this across for just time's sake. And uh, we've got one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, well, that'll make three. So, uh, if you just uh, fill up the middle, uh, this will eventually be the uh, underbelly of your aircraft. And we'll get onto the slab and stairs for this layer. So, what you're going to do, you're going to place a slab on the nose, uh, right in the front, on the lower half. You're then going to place four uh, in this gap here. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Then there's actually not going to be anything in that gap, I believe. Um, oh no, there is. Yeah, there is. There's going to be one, two, three, four again. 
one, two, three, four. I'm kind of getting confused uh, between the Jetstream 31 because on that one uh, there was a, there's only one slab here because it's just shorter. So that's why I've just got confused with that. Never mind, just got that done now. So on the on the actual edge of the underwing, on these front thr three blocks uh, along this four, you're just going to place three here. One, two, three. But don't place one on the back. So just place them on the th uh, on all of them bar the back one. So then you're going to place two slabs here. Uh, yep, you're going to place two slabs there, like that. And then you're going to have one here and two on the end, like that. And that will be it for layer number one. So for layer number two, uh, you're going to have, if you just leave these two blocks here, uh, then I'm going to place one on top of here. Uh, then this is actually just going to come out uh, to make this a three. This block will eventually be covered up, but you still need it there to place all your stuff. So, and I'm not talking about that stuff you probably just thought about. You know what stuff I mean. So, this is, uh, if you just uh, place five on the back of this, it will make this six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you can just fill up the middle if you want. Uh, I think you need to fill up the middle anyway, I'm not too sure, but if you want to fill it up, I'm not actually going to, so... You're then going to come out again. Uh, oh, no, not that. If you come out again, like that. And then you're going to have five. One, two, three, four, five, like including that one. Sorry, didn't specify there. Uh, let me do this, uh, the same, same on the other side. And then that should just line up uh, uh, on the last slab. And then we're actually going to do the wings uh, in a minute. We're actually just going to skip them. So if you just pull uh, your wall uh, right past it. And then you're going to have, uh, past the wing, you're going to have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it just didn't seem right. That's six. But I know why. So then you're actually going to come in. Uh, no, not iron. Have that same mistake with the have on comment. <laughs> Don't want to do it this time. So you're going to come in. Uh, like this, and it's just gonna like curve round, and then on the back of this, you're gonna have two, like that. Uh, this will eventually be three. Uh, well, <laughs> it is three, but if you don't want to count it that way, that's fine. So you could do like six, and then three, like an offset three, like not directly past it, or you could just place that one there and then go two. Doesn't matter how you do it, as long as it's done. That's kind of my motto. <laughs> Doesn't matter how you do it, as long as it gets done. So then, on the back of that, you're just going to place one. Like that. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, broke the wrong, wrong one. So for your slabs, you are going to place a stair here. Uh, you're going to place a slab in this part here. Uh, we're not going to do the wings yet, so we'll just skip that part out. And then you're going to have wha one here, one here, and two on the end. That's slabs. Not elephants. <laughs> so, yeah, that is it for layer number two. We will get on to layer number three, which is, by the looks of it, uh, this, this, uh, what I'm looking at, you won't know what this is. <laughs> but I certainly do, because I'm the one looking at it. So... Uh, right, I've got it, I think. Yeah. So, you're actually just going to fill up these two blocks here, uh, if you haven't already. Uh, just You can fill that up later, and yeah, I think that is actually meant to be like that. Uh, or just leave the block off. Doesn't matter, just just keep the, put those two in. Um, just fill those two up. Uh, you're then going to have... Uh, you're then going to have one here. Uh, like, you're going to place one back. Uh, one from kind of decide. It's like it this is kinda of like a three by three. That's why it's circling like this, making you dizzy. Um if you just put one right in the middle and then you just come across uh, three on the back of that, kinda of make a T shape I guess. Kinda of looks like a T. A very short T. Um you're then gonna place one on the back of uh, what you've just done. You're then going to come out again, so I can actually come out. You come out like that, and then you're going to have 19. So, including this one. So, 
Uh, I'll just place 18 on the back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that'll be on 19. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No need to count, I don't know why I was trying to. Uh, so just pull it to the front like that, it's all lined up. So off, off the side of that, you're then going to have three, like so. And then on the back of this you're going to have five. One, two, three, four, five. This may seem a little bit weird, but what this actually is, the rudder kind of... S I, I didn't know what that was either when I built it, but... It's actually kind of like the rudder kind of sticks through the fuselage. It's just like a knife, like going through meat, or if you want to put it that way, uh, it just like comes through the fuselage and comes out the other side. Uh, so that's that's what that is. I was confused with that as well. So we were both in the same boat. Uh, if you weren't confused by that, it doesn't matter. So uh, for the slabs for this layer, uh, I need to come to the front. Uh, you're going to grab your slabs. You're going to place one on the front and one in these two gaps here. Uh, just starting to smooth out the nose. I think that that's the nose done pretty much now. Um, and then you're not actually going to place anything there because this is where it starts to round off. Uh, yep. And then uh, you come to the back and on this one you're going to put one. And then you're going to have one here. Oh no, not there. The other part. You're going to have one, one there, one here, and then you're actually going to have an upside down stair on the back of here like this. Uh, that, that, that's, that's, that's because I said that was the rudder coming through uh, that just curves um, kind of back up uh, so you've got like the slanted back uh, so that's why there's a stair on the back of that so that's it for layer number three do we just do? Uh, yep, getting confused already so yeah, we will get on to the next layer so for this layer uh, firstly you're going to need to fill up this part uh, so you make like a six by uh, you make a two by three with this sort of one here and then you're going to actually grab some uh, black stained glass, which you probably haven't already. And then you're going to place uh, three across here like this, so just leaving these three and that one there. And you're going to place three uh, pieces of black stained glass there, and then you're going to put one diagonally off that. And that's going to be your cockpit windows. And then behind this, uh, you're going to have 20 blocks. This is actually 21 in total, but again, I just place it on the back of things to make it easier. So. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Same on the other side. If I pull that all the way to the front. You may notice I'm a little bit louder because I'm speed. I've uh, noticed that, I've, that I wasn't sitting close enough, so I'm right up against my camera now. So hopefully you should be able to hear me. So then you're going to have uh, four like this. Just checking that was four. Uh, one, two, three, four, like that. And then like, you're going to have three. One, two, three. That may seem a little bit weird, but uh, it's it's also it's again part of the rudder, so that's why um, it's just blunt ended like that. So then for the slabs, uh, you're not actually going to have uh, any on the front uh, to do with that, but you're actually going to have. Uh, um, what are you going to have? You're, you're not going to have anything there because that's where it starts to round off of the roof. Uh, but you're going to have one here. Oh no, you're going to have three here. Sorry. Uh, yeah, you're going to have three there, and you're going to have another upside down stair, uh, like so. Uh, so that that's actually it for where the rudder actually sticks out from the fuselage. Don't know why that was three. Doesn't really matter now. And it's been built. So yeah, that was layer number four. We'll get onto layer number five. So for layer number five. Uh, what we're actually going to do, we're going to come in, uh, there will be some slabs, but we'll do them after. You're going to come in, you're going to come across by three, like this. Um, and then on the back of this you're going to have 28. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28 like this, this will just be uh, in line with the end of it like this if I just pull this all the way to the front uh, like that and you can just, uh, and then on the back there's just going to be one but you can just fill up the uh, the middle as well because this is going to be your roof so for the slabs you are going to have uh, three on the front 
and then you're going to come on top of here top of here and then leave it one from the end like this so just place these slabs on top of here one from the end and right on, on top of the glass so it may just seem like a little chubby little plane now <laughs> you can see with like tiny little wings it looks pretty funny but so we will get onto the wings after we've done the rudder so we are actually going to start placing our slabs now uh, for the top of the roof and they are, we're going to have 17 slabs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17 and also realised that I forgot to tell you there's actually a slab on the back of here Um, yeah just there, it's just a slab on, on the back of here you're then going to have a stair and we're going to start building up the rudder now uh, you're going to have a stair and then you're going to have uh, 10 blocks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then on the back of here you're also going to have another slab just before I forget and down here you're actually going to have 8 slabs so leaving this one block off the end here you're going to have 8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 I did this on my De Havilland Comet uh, it just helps smooth out the rudder a little bit so then you're going you're gonna to leave 3 blocks uh, uh, excluding the stair just leave three blocks and you're going to have uh, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. or you can just go from the back and count four it doesn't really matter and you're going to leave another three blocks and you're going to have four. One, two, uh, three, four. <laughs> but we're, we're, we're doing that and why did I place that button there? <laughs> I do not know so we will do the slabs and stairs after so you're then going to have uh, another four, but just one off the end. One, two, three, and four, like that. And then you're going to have three and a two. And then for the slabs and stairs, what you're just going to do, you're going to place uh, stairs on this part here. So from the top all the way down to this like first little three. And then you're just going to have a slab in place like that. Uh, originally there was a slab there. But when I actually looked at it from the side, it looked a little bit strange, so uh, when I did that, that looks a little bit better. So that will be your rudder. Uh, done like that, and we'll get onto the tail plane. So what you're actually going to do, uh, you're, you're actually going to leave, where, where you've just done the, uh, the rudder, you're going to leave these two blocks, like two layers. And then you're going to place three slabs on here like this. Um, I think you are. Let me actually just go check. This will probably be the only check in this video, but I'll just be back in a second to check that. It was a good job I checked because I was wrong. Uh, you're not actually going to place one there, and it's just going to be replaced by there. So you're going to go two down. It's just going to be in line with the stair uh, you placed here, and it's just going to be. Um, and you're just going to place three like that. You then you're going to place another three, like an offset three. Just going to go one back, and you're going to place three in line with that, and then press place a two. Press a two, I said. I was like, Pre press. Why do you want to press a two? <laughs> Don't know. That wouldn't really make sense. So, have your three here, and another three here, another three here, and then your two. So that's actually it for the uh, main body rudder and the fuselage. And now we will get onto the actual wings. So, actually, no, we won't, we won't do the wings. We'll actually do the doors and windows because that might uh, actually help, wouldn't it? So. I think I will need to also check again, so this will be the uh, second of the two only checks, hopefully, of this video. So, for the uh, actual doors and windows, first you need to grab your glass and uh, an iron door, or any type of door. I usually use iron doors. And then, on these sl four slabs down here, on the end slab, uh, like the one nearest to the nose, you're going to punch out two blocks, and then this is going to be your door. I do the same on the other side. Uh, and then I usually actually put a lever, 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 however you pronounce it. Um, oh no, <laughs> I was trying to take swiftness, I was just punching the door. Uh, so, what with the lever, I don't actually put it on the side like this. Now the reason for that is, if you wanted to actually create some kind of stairs going up, I just use this glass to demonstrate, uh, if you wanted fences, like on the side of it, like this as barriers, uh, then you can actually put your levers uh, here and here. So I usually just put mine on the top. If you're not going to have stairs, then uh, if it's in the air, then just put it on the side, or you can put it on the top if you want. Uh, but I just put it on the top uh, if you want to do stairs like this. So 
I don't know, you may have a different design of stairs, it doesn't have that problem, but I certainly do. So, on the back of this, you're just going to leave one block, and then you're going to place a piece of glass, and then you're going to do the same. Uh, you're just going to leave one block of glass, you're going to add another four on the end. One, two, three, four. And then you have five windows, so one, two, three, four, five, like so, and then just place my lever on there like that. So now we actually get onto the wings for once. Uh, yeah, which side shall I do? I'll do the uh, left side. So on this part here, uh, where you've got your actual uh, underwing, there's not a word there, uh, you're going to place these four blocks here. And then you're just going to come out to make kind of a 4x4 four four, uh, kind of block like this. Uh, like that. that just, just to make it kind of simpler, I guess. So then, uh, I was thinking what to do with the propellers, but no, we'll do that later. So then, you actually just, uh, this is actually going to be 7 on the back of here. So you've already got your 4 there, so just add another 3. 1, 2, 3. And then on here, you actually add... Four. One, two, three, four. I know it sounds a little bit complicated, but trust me, it will eventually come out right at the end. So you've got your four here, four here. You're then going to come out again, and you're going to have three. One, two, three. And then, because you're seven, uh, this is actually going to come out like this. So build that out. You've got. Uh, I uh, I will eventually count these just to tell you how long that is. So you've got your four, another four, you've got your three. And then you're going to have two and another two, like that. So this in total is eight, uh, this long here, and this is seven, like I said. So uh, the wigs aren't exactly done yet, as you can see they look pretty thin. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to place uh, slabs on this part, we're going to place them on the lower half, and on this part we're going to place them on the upper half. I was going to say same on the other side, we haven't built that side yet. So the reason for that is, uh, if you see like, the flaps that they used to take off the landing, uh, they're kind of on the lower part, and then these ones are for the bank, uh, for when the plane's turning, so that's why they're like that. We will do the same on the other side, so create your 4x4 four four block, so place your 4 there, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, just fill up the middle, you've got your 4x4 four four block there. Uh, then you're going to have four on here, one, two, three, four. Then you're going to have your three, uh, one, two, three. Oh no, <laughs> that's four. Uh, I will do the, uh, the back in a minute. So you've got your three there. Then uh, you've got two and another two. So then on the back of this, because this will be the f uh, the end two of your eight, you can just get add six on the back of this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fill in the middle as well. And then if you just come in and just fill it up like this. So that will be uh, your main wing on here, uh, on this side. So then just put your slabs on the lower half here and on the upper half here, if I could do that ten times faster. And actually on the right side. Uh, right, right, I don't know. Just on the upper half, not the lower half. There we are. <laughs> Got it out eventually. So. Uh, the last bit on the exterior is actually just the, uh, I was going to say engines, it's not engines, uh, the propellers. So, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm actually going to do it from this side, uh, just because that's the way I've actually got it jotted down. So, what you're going to have, you're going to leave these three blocks, and on this one, you're actually going to place another block on the end, like this. Uh, and then you're going to place a block of iron on it, like that, and put you put your button on it. And then just uh, grab some dark oak fence and dark oak fence gates. So then, uh, with your dark oak fence on ver vertically, you can put up the fences uh, by two. And then horizontally, no, they're not there. Horizontally, you put them, uh, you put fence gates. Now, the, sa the reason for that is just the same reason with that front wheel that I told you earlier. It just makes it look a bit more realistic. Because you haven't got the bottom of the stick now, I, I guess. So, then, uh, underneath here, you're going to have three, one, two, three, and then just put your slab here, uh, stair there rather, and then put your slab, and then we're actually going to break this slab that we put down here, and then we're going to grab some black wool, and then put that on top of that slab that we just placed, and then put a button on the back of that. 
So then on the back of here you're going to leave this piece of black wall and then you're going to place a slab and you're going to place a stair and then you're going to place two blocks of white wall and then just put slabs uh, on the front like that. So that will be it for your propellers. I will do the same on the other side. And while I was round here I was kind of checking it was alright for some reason. Doesn't matter. So if you place one block on here, uh, place your block of iron and your button, uh, put your dark oak fence vertically like that and your fence gates horizontally, your dark oak fence gates uh, like this, break those away uh, and then you're going to come onto the top and then you're going to place uh, a slab and then you're going to place three blocks of wall, one, two, three and then place a slab and no that was wrong, place two rather and then place a stair and a slab and then place a block of wall, so just to recap a slab, two blocks of wall, stair, slab and then place your black wall here put your button on it, then come underneath and then uh, underneath here place your slab and then place an upside down stair then you're going to place three blocks, that's where I got confused, one, two, three and then just place your slab like that so that's it for the exterior of the BAE Jetstream 30, uh, 41, <laughs> rather, I keep on getting confused. So yeah, I guess it was kind of quick, uh, I did it quickly because um, I'll just build up some stairs here to get in. Uh, I guess it was kind of quick uh, because, um, yeah, because I was actually, um, uh, why aren't these stairs good? I guess I was quick because I've actually built this before, I guess, so kind of advantage I think, I guess, I don't know. So I'll just place stairs down here. I like doing the back even though it's not compulsory. Which takes more swiftness and I'm just gonna show you how to do the interior of this aircraft. So uh but you don't you don't have to wash this bit but if you want some uh, uh some uh, some ideas for your interior design you may want to watch this. So for your doors you're actually just gonna place a uh, iron weighted pressure plate. Uh uh, so, uh, just kind of blends in. If you've got your plane white, uh, just use any pressure plate. Uh, it just makes it that makes your plane uh, look realistic. Like kind of blends in with the floor color. Uh, just do that. So then for your cockpit, uh, you're actually going to place a stair uh, here, and then you're going to place white wall here and fill up this bit. The reason why we're doing that is because if you sat down here, you'd have to jump to see out the window, and that's not how pilots. Uh, that's not how the cockpits work. So. We fill that up, then you're going to place these two blocks here, these two blocks here, and then that will just create your uh, walls. And then grab an iron door, any type of door. Uh, I usually use iron door because uh, that's what they actually use to stop hijackers and terrorists coming into the cockpit. So then uh, you need a way to get in. Uh, so then just use a lever or a button and put it on the side of here. I usually use a button and I usually put it on this side, I don't know why. It doesn't really matter which one you use, I'd preferably use a button because then it just closes behind you. What it's only called. So then uh, grab some any type of stair. I'd use oak stairs if I were you. But again, do what you want. Uh, just place them there. And then grab an item frame, either a compass or clock, and I'll tell you why in a second. A map. Uh, and a lever. So I'm actually just going to go get a clock. Um, well, I've got flint and steel on me. I had that last tutorial. Again, what the hell? So uh, where? What was I looking for? Clocks. So grab a clock like that. Just pick that up. Uh, so what are you going to do? Uh, if you oh yeah, you will need a lever uh, like that. We take some more swiftness, hopefully this will be the last sip. May not be, but oh well. So just place your lever, if I can actually get there. Uh, place this one horizontally or and this one vertically. You can do it uh, the, the other way, like do this one vertically and this one horizontally, or you could put it like both like that. Um, I just, I don't, I don't really have a way of doing that, but it just kind of looks like the uh, control columns uh, that they have in cockpit. So then place an item frame here and an item frame here in front of your levers and then I put, uh, what I do, I put a map in this one here no, I just hit the lever, did I? I don't know I probably did, I'm just going to break that just to check yeah, didn't hit it, so uh, you place your map in there 
that's what I usually do. And then I usually place a compass here, but you can use a clock. I used to place clocks in here, but now I use compasses because if you actually move around like this, it actually kind of looks like, especially in flight, it looks like because the needle's mo moving, uh, showing you where your spawn point is, kind of looks like that they're actually working in a way, so that's why I actually use uh, compasses now instead of clocks, because clocks don't really do anything unless you've got the daylight cycle on, and plus they move very, very slowly, so well, mu com much slower compared to uh, compared to the um, to the compass. So, what you're actually going to do for this part, uh, if where you've got uh, these slabs, just fill this up just for two seconds, we will get back to this bit in a minute. So, what you're actually going to do with your stairs, uh, place one either in either like this, like this, or like this, I guess. Uh, what I do, um, if you place it like this, it will increase your seating. Uh, you'll have uh, 24, I think. No, eight, you'll have 18. <laughs> Make sure my math was correct there. Um, you'll have 18 seats, but if you do it like this, or like this, then you'll still have the same amount of seating, and it just changes your seating instead of increasing it. So what I actually have, um, I have my seats in line with uh, the part that doesn't have a block of uh, the window, rather. My block doesn't have the window, and the reason for that is, uh, is so because you can actually see out the window a lot better. Because if the seat is here, uh, you'd have to one, you'd have to try and look out the window, and two, uh, do you ever see her when you're on plane sitting in the seat? You're just staring into a wall. You don't. You stare out the window, don't you? So, and besides, if you try to stand on top of here, you won't be able to because we're going to put some stuff up here in a second so it's going to be blocking it so you won't be able to get up there so I recommend putting it on the on this block without the window one where, with your seat in line with that you don't have to do that though uh, again these are just my ideas so uh, just alternate just leave one block uh, like this so they're uh, in this on the same length uh, so they're in the same point uh, I the only kind of downside with this seat is because uh, you can't act, uh, you'd have to stand on the pressure plate, uh, but you could break the pressure plate if it's in flight. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So uh, now you've got these seats down, uh, you can just uh, place some quartz slabs uh, all the way down here, uh, like this. Uh, this is kind of making it look like your lockers. I think you can actually get some stuff stuck up there. Uh, yeah, you actually can, but it would just despawn after a minute, so you can't actually put chests up there or anything, but that just kind of looks a little bit realistic. Mm, but you'd have to be, you'd have to be in a, a, you'd have to be an athlete to try and get it up there. <laughs> but oh well, that does not matter. Did I even pick it up? Oh no, it did go up there. Hey. <laughs> so uh, I just need to check the glowstone uh, for the lighting inside this and uh, um, and then we'll actually get onto the toilet at the back if you decide to put this in. Uh, so yeah, I'll just be back in one second. So I tried to make it look like it's as realistic as possible. I didn't cut. I don't know how well I did, so <laughs> I won't see until I've actually edited it. So if you actually grab your glowstone uh, or redstone lamps, I would use glowstone because then you don't have to have like any redstone power to it. Although you can. Uh, so but you couldn't do you couldn't do it for here. Uh, this would always be off because the door's in the way. So if you place your glowstone here uh, in line with this door, uh, so it's just one uh, from the actual front, uh, then you're just going to alternate uh, between. Uh, you're just going to have one glowstone, one glowstone. Uh, you can just do one long strip if you wanted to, but I don't usually do that. Again, these are just my ideas. Uh, and the reason why it's there is because uh, this is that uh, these are actually covered up by the slabs. And when it's here, this is actually the furthest it can be. Look, uh, that's the front one. That's the cl uh, the closest it can be to the front. That's why I did it like that. So then, uh, at the back here, you're going to break this block here, and you're going to put a stair in there. And then, if you just break your way through here, uh, fill up the floor, and uh, fill up the back uh, uh, like this uh, until you've actually got three blocks. Uh, I usually do three blocks. Uh, you don't have to do that. Uh, you can have it so it's only just like one wide, but if uh, some of my planes you can actually do that. Uh, but most of them you can actually just do this. You can uh, have three here uh, if you want, but I'm just going to uh, fill up uh, the walls like this so it's only one wide. Very crap toilet. 
would say so myself. So, uh, you grab your cauldron and you actually put it down at the back. Uh, you will then need a water bucket uh, to actually put in the water to make it look like, look like it's a toilet. Uh, you're then going to need uh, an iron trapdoor. Uh, I don't use a normal trapdoor because uh, this is white and it looks like porcelain. And then for the last bit, I just put a lever down and pull that up. And then for here, I just put down a door, a uh, wooden door. Here we are. Can use an iron door if you want, but <laughs> there isn't really any point. It's just a toilet. Why would someone need to be locked out there unless someone's in there? <laughs> and I think it'd be pretty obvious if someone's in there because they'd be looking. <laughs> they'd know when they walked in there. So. This is now the end of uh, the BAE Jetstream 41 tutorial. I keep on saying 31. Uh, so yeah, these uh, those ideas uh, in inside the in interior design. Uh, that's just that's just my ideas. Uh, I'm not actually going to be doing a livery for this aircraft uh, just because um, eventually I'd get uh, once I get more popular. Uh, I say when if I get more popular, uh, which hopefully I will. Um, People will be asking me, uh, oh yeah, can you uh, can you do uh, it in this airline? Can you do it in this airline? But uh, there is quite a few, quite a few airlines out there that uh, actually uh, use the BAE Directing 31. And once I've got a lot of planes actually out um, on tutorials, then it's just going to be a nightmare trying to design them for you. So uh, so uh, you have to stuff to do them yourself, I'm afraid. Uh, but hopefully you can just look up at the design. And then you can, uh, and then you can master it uh, on on the the AU Direction 41 like this. So, so that is the end of the tutorial here. Uh, so if I just get into position, like I always do. So thank you very much for watching, and thank you for you taking your time out of your day to use my channel. I click on this video, and hopefully watch it to full length. Hope you did. Uh, this is one I probably won't have to cut too many times. Uh, this is what it's with my. Uh, that's what it's like with my tutorials now. Uh, with my first one, I had to cut a million times, and the reason why I just went forward is to check I wasn't punching the ground away. So, again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, if you decide to that one as well. Bye!